So I grew up on tons of science fiction, hours of Star Wars and Star Trek and the Six Million Dollar Man. I just wanted to be part of that world. And you know, now as a neurosurgeon, as a neuroscientist, I have the absolute privilege to actually be part of that world. I've always wanted to understand the brain, and I've always wanted to understand epilepsy, because I felt that epilepsy, if I could understand epilepsy, I could understand the brain. Think of a seizure as a storm, an electrical storm within the brain. Individuals with epilepsy suffer from unpredictable seizures through much of their life. <clears throat> in, the, in the context of epilepsy, then, um, a, an individual, a, a famous a physicist named Richard Feynman, once said that if you can understand something, you should be able to explain it simply. And that if you can understand, and it's also being said that if you can understand something, that you should be able to fix it. So I want to understand the brain so that I can fix epilepsy. One way that we're doing this is through a device that we've created called Neurop, the Neural Interface Processor. It's a computer chip, but it's not any kind of computer chip. Neurop is able to, in fact, determine when a seizure is about to happen and then gently stimulate the brain to stop the seizure from taking place. The, uh, it's not easy to understand where seizures are coming from within the brain. And it's also even more difficult to understand when they're going to happen. So Neurop listens to brain signals from these implanted electrodes, often hundreds within the brain. Epilepsy surgery is like real estate. It's location, location, location. And so we very strategically implant electrodes within the brain to understand where the seizures are coming from. Neurop samples brain activity 250 times per second and then analyzes the brain activity over a million times per second to understand when the seizure is going to start. That's pretty amazing. We also store this, this information offline <clears throat> so that we can use machine learning algorithms on more powerful computers to help Neurop learn. Through this, we can actually identify a very specific fingerprint of brain activity, like identifying a needle in a haystack, pinpointing when a seizure is going to start. We then transfer that fingerprint to Neurop. Neurop is always listening for a seizure. There's also many ways to stimulate the brain electrically. And so Neurop is also looking for the best pattern of stimulation to stop a seizure. Neurop is hard at work within our epilepsy program, our 10-bit epilepsy monitoring unit, <clears throat> here at the Toronto Western Hospital. And it's demonstrating that 98% of the time, that it, can, can, it can, in fact, identify the beginning of a seizure. So what kind of device, so what, where will these devices take us to in the future? One way that we're exploring this is in fact by stimulating a structure in the brain called the hippocampus that is critical for memory and learning. We're hoping that we can understand if we, how we can improve those aspects of brain function. So these devices, like Neurop, not only potentially could help patients, but they can also teach us critical new information about the brain. Science fiction is what our brain dreams up today that then becomes a reality of tomorrow. Like Captain Kirk communicator 50 years ago, which is now the modern day smartphone. I believe that we're at the beginning of, of the dream to create a device that can both fix and explain the brain. When that dream is realized, I will be, not only be able to fix the brain by stopping seizures, but I promise that I'll explain the brain simply. Thank you.